Hello and welcome to the Archeo Gaming Museum where today we're back with another Archeo Gaming Let's Play where we'll be looking at the game Distancing, the game that is all about the importance of social distancing during COVID-19. Distancing is a indie casual simulation game that is currently free to download and play on Steam. On Steam it describes itself in the following way. Distancing is a very small game about social distancing in COVID-19 times, where you play a small scenario in daily life. You play a character that is going to a party, while on your way you need to try and keep your social distance to the people in the town. Before you can arrive at the party, you'll need to pick up some snacks that you can bring. Now, obviously, distancing is not a game about archaeology, but it is still interesting to study from an archaeological and anthropo anthropological perspective because it is a game that was created as a direct result of an important global event, the COVID-19 pandemic. This could potentially be quite useful for future archaeologists to study as an artefact to show what 2020 life or life in 2020 and 2021 was like and the things that were important. Although this would only be of use if they have the surrounding context to why the game was developed and have the history of 2020 and 2021. But we'll come back to discuss this a little bit at the end of the video after we've played through the game. Now we're going to do a couple of playthroughs of this game because something that it doesn't actually mention in the description which I really think it should is that at the end it scores you on your ability to keep social distance and then gives you consequences to what your actions may have been how many people you infected and then if the people you infected acted just like you what the overall impact overall impact that might cause so we're going to play through this game a couple of times in the first instance i am just going to act like how i would in normal life although saying that even before the covid19 pandemic i still tried to keep my distance from people when i was walking out and about but you know how someone might act generally uh, or how you may have acted before covid19 then we'll try and play through to see how good a score we can get how can we keep to social distancing in the game? So we're going to load up the game. A small introduction uh, cinematic will play at the beginning. Welcome to distancing. You will control our main character. He has decided to go to a social gathering with his friends, and he even decided to bring snacks for the party. The only problem is that right now there's a virus spreading among people of Distance Town. So you have to control the main character and make sure he gets in contact with as few people as possible. <clears throat> so there is the little introduction cinematic. And the game is very simple. You move using the WASD or arrow keys. You interact with the world using the space bar. And whenever you're within spreading range, you'll see red circles around the people you're near. Um, I'm going to turn down the game volume a little bit uh, as there's a, there is an option to mute it in game, but there seems to be a slight bug with the game at the moment that every time you hit the interaction bar, it mutes or unmutes the game music if you'd already muted it. Um, so the style of the game is very much this sort of cartoony, hand-drawn style uh, in a sort of side-scrolling, adventure-style game. So again, at the moment, I'm just walking how I might do. I might go uh, say hello to these people over here. Might say hello to that friendly jogger and you know might explore the park a little bit you know not being overly direct between where i'm going might backtrack a little bit and see the jogger again and now we're off to the shop to pick up the snacks for the party 
So again, I might go and say hello to this lovely old lady and see if she needs any help with her shopping. Whilst picking up uh, some snacks there. Again, I might talk to this guy who's drinking a coffee. Whilst coming down here to pick up the crisps or chips as they're called in this game. And also pick up some fizzy drink or pop or soda. Now I do like the fact that the uh, gentleman in the shop is wearing a mask. No one else is, but he is. So we'll pay for our goods and head out to the party. And again, we might say hello to the nice old lady that we met earlier. And wait at the bus stop. Now some say it might it's slightly irresponsible to show going to a party during uh, COVID-19 or, pan or the pandemic that has hit distance town. But this game is kind of you know, trying to show that point precisely by if you were to do such things, you know, that what your uh, interactions and your choices, including going to the party, might have. So again, we're going to say hello to these people out here. Again, trying to act as we normally would. Welcome. I'm so happy you could make it. Could you serve the snacks in different places just to make navigating extra, extra, more, extra easy? That was supposed to be sarcastic. It could make things a lot more difficult. So again, we might go and say hello to these people here whilst we place our snacks. You know, just let them know that I've placed some pop there that they're most, more than welcome to help themselves to. And uh, put the chips there. And for some reason, these salt snacks sticks by the sink. And again, we might say hello. We might socialise for a bit. Thanks for your help. Come back to me and let's get started. Thanks for your help. You're the best. Let's enjoy ourselves. And now we're going to have a very nice time at the party. Thank you for playing distancing. Now it's time for the results. You have entered a social distancing zone 44 times. Unfortunately, you actually had a positive test result waiting for you in your email box, but you didn't realise it this until the morning after a party. A rough estimate is that on average you would have infected 11 people. If all the people had similar behaviour, they could have infected roughly 484 people. So this is a bit which I like most about the game. It shows you your consequences. And because of this, I think this could be quite a good teaching tool, especially for young children to show them the consequences of their actions and the importance of social distancing. So we're going to play through the game once more. We actually have to close it to restart it and open it back up again. And this time we're going to see if we can do much better, see how low we can get our score. So this time let's try and avoid as many people on our way to the shop. So we've got to dodge the people in the park. Which is actually reasonably easy if you stick to the grassy area, although you do occasionally have people who pop up there. The shop is going to be the next level of difficulty because we've got people randomly walking around, but it's not too more too difficult to avoid them. bit more difficult when the old lady moves up this way but we're gonna move and hopefully not get caught by anyone so everyday life things you know it's quite easy to social distance but how realistic is it to be able to social distance at a party well let's go and find out So we can avoid all these people outside quite happily and the guy standing there drinking a nice cup of coffee. Now as soon as we enter we're immediately right next to this guy with his circle. We're in infection range air. But how easy can we dodge people in the party? It's going to be quite difficult. Because I mean we've got to pass there. I mean we could have come down here. Potentially this route but again people were moving there as well. And again it's very difficult to get past. So... 
I think it's good that it doesn't. There's no safe way really to do the party. You're gonna get in someone's zone. I think no matter what you do, and that does show the importance that parties are not a good idea at this time still. But what were what were results that time round? Fourteen times we entered social distancing, so that's a uh, potentially infecting three and a half people, which could go on to infect another fifty people. And then that can snowball an effect as well. But it does show you at least two steps of effect and consequences. So we're going to play this one more time. Third time's a charm. Let's see how well we can do. So as I said, distancing is a very interesting game from an archaeological perspective because it is an artefact of the time period. It is something that was developed as a direct result of a global issue. Now, archaeology, archaeologists of the future won't necessarily know that if it doesn't have context, and archaeology is all about context. Artifacts have meaning when they have context. 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 So, if, say, the steam uh, information didn't exist, saying it was developed to show the importance of social distancing during COVID-19, then it loses some context. If we go maybe 100 years into the past, then we'll probably still know at least about the global COVID pandemic, I would hope. Uh, so again, and if we roughly know when the game came out, again, we have a bit of context there. So the game, you know, people could still piece probably it together and probably, and I'll just probably view it as an educational tool or as, something of that nature. But if you went, say, more 500 years in the future, 1,000 years in the future, how would then archaeologists view that? People think that in the digital age, you know, all our data is somewhere and it's completely safe, you know, it'll be recorded for eons to come, but that is not necessarily the case. Digital data is not necessarily safe and secure. So in 500 years' time, if they didn't have the context of the steam information or the development information that went along with the game or the historical records of precisely what was going on in the years 2020 and 2021, how would they view the game if they still had a version of the game and of course a version uh, that they could play? It's very difficult to say because again we are looking at it from a time where these things are very much affecting us on a daily life. However, again they may just see it just purely as a game. It's a game which has a very particular art style, has a very particular set of game mechanics and a very set and a very particular uh, music style. But without that context, they won't necessarily know why social distancing and why distancing the game were potentially important to people in the years 2020 and 2021. So Let's play it once more and see if we can beat 14. Or beat is beat 14, right word? Get lower than 14. Beat that lower score with a lower score. So again, we made it through the park. Let's grab the water. Grab the salt, oh no, the chips. Grab the salty snacks. Oh, we just managed to dodge everyone there. And hopefully we'll also make it out of the shop. Okay. So again, yes, shops, you know, are reasonably navigatable, navigatable without bumping into each other, especially when they're that empty. Obviously, shops in real life are rarely that empty, although I guess it kind of depends when you go. So, the party. We're still always going to hit this guy and get in that uh, get in that circle. But can we do better than before? By having a little bit of patience, maybe once he goes there, we can completely negate that people there. Get to here. Get slightly stuck on that counter. Ooh. 
I don't know, I think that might be about 14 again. Let's see how well we did this time. Thank you for playing distance in. Thirteen times. We managed to improve the score by one. Okay, let's be slightly more scientific about this and play it for a third time and see what our average actually is. So again, we'll play it once more. Oddly, Distancing isn't the only game that I'm going to play in the upcoming weeks Welcome that was developed as a result or due to character. issues to of 2020 and 2021. There are a couple more games that I have that we're going to look at in the same kind of way that we're looking at distancing. As artifacts of 2020 and 2021, what do they tell us about those years? And what might they say to the archaeologists of the future? And of course, I'm still working on the other projects at the moment, such as uh, my archaeology skill series in RuneScape. And also uh, looking at other archaeology related instances in RuneScape, such as quests, museums and so forth. There'll be more on that coming up also in the next couple of weeks. So if you're interested in that, well, make sure you like this video, hit Subscribe and hit the notification bell to find out when I upload. At the moment, I roughly upload um, a random video at a random point during the week. Thursday is when I tend to do my RuneScape uh, archaeology skill videos. And I stream on Saturday, generally with Kylie Roo Gaming, which is a more relaxed kind of affair where we loosely talk about gaming, archaeology but also uh, introducing new players to RuneScape. Um, at some point, I'm going to walk them through the archaeology uh, tutorial bit and get their input on that as well. So do join us on Saturdays for those videos. And again, keep an eye out on the channel for other videos and of course on social media, Twitter, um, Facebook and Instagram as well where I also update and I post other content as well um, including posting about the sort of history of computing and video games, showing off my own collection and so forth. So that we managed to get it down to 12 times so between those three between 12 and 14 that does give us a average of about 13. Uh, so that wasn't too bad. So each time we managed to improve. But I generally don't think it's possible in this game not to at least get a couple of instances. If you can, please record it and send it to me. I'd absolutely love to see it. But there we go. There is distancing as a game. An interesting game because of the year in which it was developed and what that tells us. Um, and again, an interesting game from its art style and its music. Its art style is very basic, which I think, you know, gives the game a certain level of charm. It doesn't add any any unnecessary complications to the game, although due to the slight uh, nature of, of it, there are a few cases like where we win the party where you're not quite sure where the actual corner of the counter is. Um, it's a the actual style of gameplay is a sort of as a side scrolling adventure or arcade game and the music although it might be a get, it might get repetitive after a while certainly is some of the better sort of arcade style music that I've heard in recent games and very much adds to the experience of the game. There are a couple of issues with the game such as having to keep on restarting it to play again and that it you can't properly mute the music within the game that is a bug that probably needs fixing somehow it's a bug that I will also report and pass that feedback on um, 
And it's a game which, again, I really do think would make a good educational tool. Especially if you've got, especially children, to act in the first instance how they think they would normally act, going out to do, go and buy some snacks and go to a party, and then play it with the idea of 2020, 2021, with social distancing, with COVID, with a global pandemic, and so they can see the direct results of their actions. So they can see what the cause of those interactions are. Um, as I said, this isn't the only game that I've got lined up to look at that was developed during 2020 and 2021 and direct sort of made as a result of 2020 and 2021. Uh, those will come up over the next couple of weeks. As I said, on sort of a random day, Wednesday, Tuesday to Wednesday, maybe, maybe slightly later on a Friday. Um, each Thursday I do the RuneScape videos and on Saturday I do streaming as well. I would highly recommend at least downloading and giving distancing a go. It is a little bit of fun, five minutes or so, 10 minutes maybe, depending on how many times you want to replay the game. I would say at least, you know, replay it three or so times just to see, act as you normally would or how you did before uh, 2020 and then see uh, if you can minimise it. So again, you get the idea of, of, of what, of the results of your actions. So thank you very much for joining this video today. If you liked it, please give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel and hit a notification bell so you know when my next uploads are. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook for other updates uh, where I talk about gaming history. I show off my own collection of retro gaming consoles and computers and games and gaming memorabilia. All those kind of things. Um talk about Archeo Gaming, uh, post reviews of games I'm currently playing, uh, small Archeo Gaming reviews. So yeah, uh, there'll be an article out or, or an article out on Instagram towards the end of the week looking at Atari Pong. I previously looked at the consoles that sort of the Atari Pong spawned and that Atari Pong was influenced by but not actually itself. So that'll be out on Friday, between Friday and Sunday, whenever I get around to finish writing it. So as I said, thank you very much again. And remember, keep to social distancing, download the game. It is a lovely little game, a very important game, and a game that I said that with the right context could be very important to future archeologists to understand the nature of the years 2020, 2021, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Until next time, take care.